Here are the learning outcomes, CNC machine offsets, wear, work, and geometry offsets. By the end of this lecture, students will be able to 1. Understand the concept of offsets in CNC machines. Define what an offset is and explain why it is required in CNC machining. Identify the three types of offsets, wear offset, work offset, and geometry offset. 2. Calculate wear offset correctly. Explain the role of insert wear in machining and why wear offsets are necessary. Determine excess material left due to wear by subtracting the desired size from the actual size achieved. Apply wear offsets correctly in the X and Z axes, understanding when to use positive or negative values. 3. Select the correct tool for wear offset. Identify the finishing tool responsible for removing excess material. Locate the finishing tool number on the machine turret for correct offset application. 4. Input wear offset in CNC control panels. FANUC control system. Navigate through the offset menu and select the wear offset option. Choose the correct tool number and enter the offset value in X or Z axis. Understand the importance of pressing the plus input key instead of just input. Old Siemens control system. Manually perform offset calculations before entering values. Input the calculated offset and press input calculate, followed by accept. New Siemens control system. Utilize the built-in calculator for automatic offset value adjustment. Follow a simplified process by selecting the offset key, tool number, pressing cools to access the calculator, entering values, and pressing accept. 5. Work offset implementation. Differentiate work offsets from wear offsets. Apply work offsets that affect all tools in the setup by entering values in the work offset page. 6. Geometry Offset Awareness. Understand that geometry offsets are used during tool setting. Recognize that this topic will be covered in the tool setting module for a deeper understanding. 7. Troubleshoot Common Offset Issues. Identify common errors such as incorrect tool selection, wrong offset direction, and failure to use the correct input method. Correctly interpret sign conventions for offsets in the X and Z axes using coordinate system knowledge. 8. Practical demonstration of offsets. Follow a step-by-step -step video demonstration of entering offsets in FANUC and Siemens CNC control panels. Observe the machine's response to offset changes and verify proper offset application through a test cut. 9. Compare old and new CA control offset methods. Explain the key differences in manual offset calculation old Siemens versus automated calculation new Siemens. Justify the efficiency improvements in modern CNC systems for offset handling. This structured learning outcome plan ensures students grasp the theory, calculation, and practical application of CNC offsets efficiently. In this topic, we are going to see how to calculate the offset value and how to give that value to the machine. As we know, offsets are of three types. Our first offset is the wear offset, which is used when the insert wears during production. So let's learn how to calculate the offset value. This is our workpiece, and the size we want after machining is 28. However, due to insert wear, we're getting 28.02. That means there is some excess material present here. To calculate that excess material, we have to subtract the size we want from the size we get. That means we have to subtract 28 from 28.02. So we get 0 0.02 excess material, and this is the offset value. We will give this value an X, as this is the extra material in the diameter. So we will give the offset an X with a value of 0 0.02. Now we have to choose the tool. Where offsets are mainly given to the finishing tool as the finishing tool takes the last cut. Now you might ask, how do we know which tool is, is the finishing tool? For that, you have to look inside your machine and find out which tool is performing the finishing process. That's how you will find your finishing tool number. If you, you carefully observe your turret, you will see the tool numbers written on it. By checking the tool number of your finishing tool, 
you will identify your finishing tool number. Now we have x with a value of 0 0.02 and we are going to give this offset to the finishing tool. Now we have to determine whether to give this offset as a plus or a minus. Let's analyze this. As you can see, there is extra material. To remove this extra material, the tool must move downward. As you know, in the x and z graph, moving downward in x means minus, and moving upward in x means plus. Similarly, moving to the right in z is plus, and moving to the left in z is minus. As you can see, our tool is moving downward in x, which means minus. So we're going to give the offset as x minus 0.02 to the finishing tool. This is how we calculate the offset. Now let's see how to calculate the offset in z. If any extra material is present in z, let's see how to calculate its offset. Here, the length we want is 70 millimeters, and the length we get is 70.50 millimeter. So the extra material is 0.5 millimeters. Since this is a length value, we will give the offset in z and choose the tool that will remove the extra material. So we have the tool number and a value of 0.5 in z. Now we need to determine whether the 0.5 value should be positive or negative. As we know, in the x and z graph, if the tool is moving to the right, it is plus, and if it is moving to the left, it is minus. Here, our tool is moving to the left, so it is minus. Therefore, we have to give the offset in z as 0.5. Now we have learned how to calculate the offset in both x and z. Now let's see how to enter this offset in the control panel. Procedure for FANUC control. First, press the Offset button. Then in the Offset menu, press the Where option, as we are going to give the offset in Where. Next, select the tool number for which you want to give the offset. Mostly, the finishing tool is selected. After that, select X or Z, depending on whether you want to give the offset in diameter or length. Enter the offset value, and then press the plus input key. As we have already discussed, we must press the plus input key, not just the input key. The plus input key adds your offset to the already present offset, which is exactly what we want. So always press the plus input key. Now let's see this procedure with the help of a video. Press offset, again offset, then where. Now select the tool number. Here I'm using tool number 4 as my finishing tool. Then give the offset 0.02 in X and press the plus input key. That's it. Remember, always press the plus input key. Then just select auto mode and press cycle start. See how simple it is. This is how we apply the wear offset in FANUC control. Procedure for Siemens control. In Siemens control, there is a slight difference in giving offsets. Siemens control has two versions old Siemens control and new Siemens control. Old Siemens control, first press the offset key, then select the tool number, usually the finishing tool. After that, enter the offset value. In old Siemens control, all calculations must be done manually. In contrast, new Siemens control performs these calculations automatically. You will understand this better in the video. Whatever value you calculate, enter it as the offset. Then press the input or calculate button and press accept. Now let's see this procedure with the help of a video. Press the offset key, then select the tool. Now select where offset. Here I want to give an offset for tool 1 in X. As you can see, minus 0.5 offset is already present. If I want to move the tool upwards by 0.2, I must add plus 0.2 to nano 0.5. Since this is old Siemens control, I have to perform this calculation manually. So adding plus 0.2 to nano 0.5 results in nano 0.3. Enter this value in X and then press the input key. This is how we give offsets in old Siemens control. New Siemens control. In new Siemens control, the calculation is done automatically. First, press the offset key, then select the tool number. Then press the flush equals equal to take key on the Siemens control panel. A calculator will appear on the screen. In this calculator, the previously stored offset value will be displayed. Now add the new offset value. For example, if the existing offset is negative 0.5 and we want to add plus 0.2, 
enter plus 0.2 in the calculator. Press input or calculate and the CNC machine will automatically compute the new offset value. Finally, press accept. That's the small difference between old Siemens control and new Siemens control. In old Siemens control, you have to manually calculate the offset, whereas in new Siemens control, the machine calculates it for you. Here, work offset. If you give a work offset, it gets applied to all the tools. This is how the offset page looks. Just enter your offset value in X or Z and press plus input. That's it, the offset is applied automatically. Geometry offset. The third offset is the geometry offset, which we will cover in the setting topic. It is used for setting purposes. In this topic, we have learned how to calculate offset values, how to determine whether to use a plus or minus sign, the procedures for FANUC control and Siemens control.